Mikato. Hello everybody, this is Mikato, and welcome back to Higarashi when they cry. So let's re-begin where I last had it. Alright. I love the soundtrack of this game. So I think I already did the tips for last time. Tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. I'm gonna turn it down because I'm trying out a new microphone system stuff. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... Okay. The next... <coughs> the next day. It was a strange day. Where Mia was desperately regained her composure. Every time our eyes met, she would say that she had something to do or that she had to use the washroom and run off. Unable to just watch, Mona was taking care of her the entire time. Mian said, She's acting totally strange today. I know the whole story, but it's hard to explain. There are times when girls get emotionally unstable. It's best just to leave her alone. Hmm? Turning around, I saw running run out calling for me from the hallway. I wonder what it was. Keiji over here! Over here! What is it? Call me over like this. Is it a secret? Um, that is. It looks like it was a disaster. <laughs> uh, yeah. Lee Champ seemed pretty broken, but I somehow got her working again. I'm surprised you managed it. How did you exactly? Same way I do with the television. Just come out. <laughs> you hit her? I don't think that's a way to help your emotionally broken friend, but I don't know. Just come at it from a 45 degree angle and hiya! Saying that you made a chopping motion. No, I can't tell if you're joking or not, right? She'll be fine by tomorrow. Also, there's something I want you to do, Keiji Kun. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. But I still feel guilty. I'm listening. Thanks. You see, Beecher is just gonna pretend the last few days never happened. Never happened? Huh. I see. Well, that's one way to run from it. <laughs> so you see, Keiji kun, could you pretend too? Then Beecher can go back to normal. Just doing something as simple as that is. Is that really gonna be okay? Oh. <laughs> Sorry for hitting the uh, microphone. Please, tell me Chan gets her feelings in order. Just go with it. Okay, I got it. Even though I should have been at fault. Oh. <laughs> I almost said it in a run of voice. Even though I should have been at fault, for some reason, I felt guilty. The one at fault here was the one who knew about the entire situation and pretended to be me on for an entire day. She on! <sighs> but. She never once said that she was me on. Uh, what am I supposed to be angry at? Seeing me stomping the ground impatiently, run a giggle. But Keiji Kun, you knew as well that Meechan has some cute things about her. Redis talked in a calm voice as her hair rustled in the wind. Yeah, I know that you will never let it be boring. Good. Following the curt reply, Runa looked up at the sky and stretched. As long as you realize, Kichigun, that these past few days will soon be nothing more than a story to laugh about. Copy and Runa, I also begin the sketch. Sketch? <laughs> yes! This uh, uh, is sketching! I also began to stretch as I looked to the sky. The clear sky towered into the distance. There's no club activities or anything today. Oh, sorry. There's no club activities today or anything. I'm sorry, Kichikun. Just for today, can you go home by yourself? It will be all back to normal tomo by tomorrow, just for today, right? Okay. If all it took for everything to go back to normal is to leave me on alone for the day. 
then it was an easy decision to make. Got it. I can't say it directly to Beyond, so I'll say it to you. I still feel kind of guilty about it, though. So I want to apologize. I uh, know. The root of the problem was Keiichi could say something insensitive, right? So if you learned anything from this, you will look a bit into a getting sense of galaxy. Right, right. I'll try. That day was the shortest day of my life. When I was talking to Beyond while accompanying her around the whole time. It looked real, like a really fun conversation, so I reflectively thought about joining in, but I made a promise not to. It seemed that Beyond was also trying her best to adore me. So likewise, I did my best to ignore her. For the first time in a while, I ate lunch alone. Beyond and I ate theirs by themselves. As I let her aside in ashen, my ashen new moon, Rika-chan came over and patted me on the head. Both Keiichi and me learned a whole lot. I never say I... I never say it like that. It made it sound like we were having romantic problems. I didn't like that one a bit. Hopefully the teacher would have noticed and called us to the staff room after school or something. Oh! Oh, crap! I said that all was Rena. I'm sure that Keiichi would grow up to be a wonderful adult. Hmm. Rick Chen is the studious type, so maybe you'll grow up to be an amazingly wonderful adult. Of course. When I grow up, I'll be super amazing. Bye. When I grow up, I'll be an amazing lady, you know. No matter how old you get, you'll still be a brat. You can put money on that. <laughs> <laughs> You're crying again. <laughs> what did you say? As Sadako snapped her fingers in, a watchman fell from above, hitting me squarely in the head. Ow! What do you think you're doing, Sonico? It was a day I could truly appreciate the value of having friends. Oh wow, that was short. Holy crap. Does this mean the next part is going to be much longer? That was the shortest. First half to a chapter of Higurashi I read. Uh, is this school the next day? Okay, I'm going to school the next day. Alright. Today was Saturday, so school ended up in the blink of an eye. It really felt good to go home with the sun so high in the sky. On any other day, our club would have been up to mission during our ample after school time. But today, we and I had a rehearsal for tomorrow's Watergashi to go to. How is that going, Gachan? Do you have it down in practice? I'll try harder than last year. You were so exhausted and sweaty after the last year's ceremony. She'll look far more fit for this role this year. Please look forward to the fruits of her training. The Watanagashi Festival everyone had been talking about was small, wasn't it? The festival being in June made it a little early to me, but the onset of summer came quickly this year, so it came in the image of Summer Festival is pretty well. Okay, I'll be off then. Look forward to tomorrow! Good day to you all! So the girl Rikuchan waved to us energetically and then left. No, I never asked. Where is the festival happening anyways? I don't remember there being any anywhere around here that seemed suited for the hosting one. They do at the Fruit Day Shrine. We went there for a walk one day, remember? It was that place with a really good view? Oh, right. I remember. There was a shrine all the way up on that hill, wasn't there? It seemed too f it seemed far to grab for Himidizawa. There's a great beauty hall in the shrine, too. The other people get together and sing karaoke or practice calligraphy from time to time. Oh, they don't sing karaoke. I want to hear that. It's more like a recreational facility than a sinful shrine. See, I guess it makes sense that it looks too so grounded. B Chan, is your family gonna help up set up today? I'm going to like a Mickey Mouse. Oh, sorry, for the micro. I'm going to like a Mickey Mouse voice for my Reno boys, so don't mind that. Yep, we have male hands for that. Most of our relatives come from town to help. Male hands, huh? 
Well, I mean, I have nothing to do at home today, so... Would it be a problem if I scored my way in there to help out, too? Huh? You want to help us, K-chan? Not for all bother you all. I was just kind of interested. We have bond dances and other festivals in the town I used to live in. But there... <coughs> I didn't even know where they took place, much less wanted to help. You said that I absolutely had no connection to the region. Having come to Amazon, though, it really made me feel like this place was the home that I had returned to. Before I knew it, I harbored a little interest in the small community activity of preparing, preparing for the festival the day before. I wonder if you will be able to, kid. There's a lot of building tents and setting up chairs. I heard that it's pretty hard physical labor. I mean, I wouldn't be doing it alone, right? The more hands we have, the faster we'll go. The yeah, look happy to hear that, but at the same time, her expression was complex, tainted with hesitation. Runa gave her a last push for me. It's decided then. You should go for it, Keishikun. He's all yours, Michi. I'm putting him through the ringer. <laughs> well, I can't argue with the recommendation from Rena. Okay then, go home first, put on some work clothes, and come to the shrine. Oh, and you might want to bring a towel to wipe your sweat, too. Got it. I may look scrawny, but I actually quite like... But I actually quite like bringing the sweat under the hot sun. Careful we don't hurt your back, okay? Right enough my old man's spiel. I'll go to the shrine, too, as soon as I changed. b chan do your best, too. Bye bye. Beyond Ray vigorously. Wait. Okay, I think that was run up. Yeah. Beyond Ray vigorously to us and left. As far as I could tell from her gallant, retreating figure, she seemed to have recovered from the weak state she had yesterday. Girls are quick to get over things. Mecha's already fine. <laughs> that is true. Girls are quick to go over things. Apologize to the girl viewers of this. My channel. It's not true, though. Right. We're switching back to normal so clean it really makes it easy for me to talk to her. It was kind of funny though, wasn't it? Kind of like Cinderella. Like you can't beat her anymore once the magic wears off. When I began to giggle in a fair bit of amusement. Did she like this sort of thing? If it didn't think she be going along with along with giving a weird described feeling. Did I turn myself into a plaything? Or did they do it for me? It's so funny, then you should try pretending to be a different runner, too. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Keichigun, what kind of runner do you want to meet? <laughs> One with the boss size of at least 90. Huge noggers if <laughs> you never, ever say that to someone. You never, ever should. I can do that! She'll be great and cooking, make me lunch, and come to see me in the mornings. I do that already. A poor run is headed to a type grip and start to pat in. You're Rena Ryugu, right? Rena, not Rena. So you could just say it's Rena forever, got it? Thanks. Have fun helping set up the festival. Um. This is a little spoiler, but you can skip ahead. I'm gonna put a little skip ahead to what I have to say about the arena thing. Um, I kind of feel like this is foreshadow. Like, that line is kind of like foreshadow for Rena's real name because Rena, her name is actually Rena, but after her parents divorced, she got, she changed her name to Rena. In a later arc, you figure out more about it, and I think it's told from her point of view, not from Keiji, so. I'm gonna love reading from Rena's point of view once in a while, but that's in a later chapter. Right now I'm in Watanagashi, and I think that's like in the fourth, maybe fifth chapter? Yeah, it's in one of the way later chapters, so, yeah. You got it! Let's meet up tomorrow! I got changed right away, and smoothing the tongue around my neck like Mio suggested. I set off for the shrine. At the 
try. There were more people than you imagine even living in Miyazawa there. All courting off areas, setting up tin fireworks, chatting amongst themselves as they did so. Alright, where's Mion? The liveliness of this th <laughs> of the throng, okay. I misread that. I Sorry, nope, I should actually slap myself for that. I searched around as if I already worked there, and suddenly the principal called out to me. Hmm. If it isn't my mark, interesting. Can you come to help with the Gwen and Nagashi setup? Oh, um, uh, hello. Yes, I was just wondering if there was anything I could help with. How commendable your attitude is! Feel free to sweat your heart sweat to their heart's content. <laughs> spurred on the spurred on by the principal, I came upon a group of people setting up tents. <laughs> that Australian action scene. Oh, what's this? It's my mama chan! Did you come to all this way to help us? I haven't found me on there, but I'm supposed to just get in her way if I ran into it. Yeah! I'm here to help! There's somebody when you need where you need me. You young ones have all the vitality. Here, grab some work gloves. Ever built a tent before? I really don't want to say this line because I put up a tent several times because I go camping, so I'm not gonna read the line. Sorry. I'm supposed to be reading the story to you, but at the same time I kinda of find myself just like KG. <laughs> Sorry, okay. I already explained some of that stuff. The line can teach a new skill to someone younger. Plenty of people happily tell me all sorts of things. Okay, kid, go inside the tent and tie up just the cords for the top. After that, we'll stand it up and tie the rest of them. Butterfly knots are okay, right? There and there. All done? We're standing it up! One, two, three! What was. Nothing more than a collapse that was raised with um, force for the dust before my eyes and your moments. Seeing it put together like this is actually pretty moving. Come on, no time to stare in the one there. You got a lot more to do. Back to the truck, so go get them from there. They're heavy, so take someone with you. Nah, I'm good. I may look scrying, but I'm actually pretty strong. Wow! They look light enough, so I thought they were. They're heavy! That's why I don't use tabs of help! Come on! Said the man lifting up with the grunt and taking it away under his arm. Either I'm weak or these old guys have superhuman strength. Let's go! You're the youngest one here, so we're gonna make you sweat for it! Do your best! Beer after work is the best! Um, I'm a miner. <laughs> Keiji, you could've gotten away with it! You could've gotten away with it! God damn it, Keiji! Sweat dripped from my body. I've been fully in and completely absorbed in helping them. I would never have thought this cool by routine for the woman's society could taste this delicious. You're so young! Be sure you drink a lot! Thank you. It was then I realized that the crowd of four near the shrine and was off. When I took a closer look, I saw a girl dressed in a mid grading garb and a handful of old men looking like they were preparing for the ceremony together. Is that Rika chan Hey, Rika chan Do your best! I shouted, it seemed like she heard me. Rika chan Possibly exploding with vitality, answered with a smile. The only guy is with me watch this watch Rika Chan as well, but distant gazes. Rika Chan was doing a good job. She, she's for far more used to it than she did last year. The old lady who gave me tea claps and looked at it like the prayer beads in her hand said. Rika Sama! We thank you! We thank you! And just like that, you get to respectfully pray to her. Huh? I just remember that they called it the they called it the Furude Shine. Was it Mika Chan's full name, Mika Furude? The man sitting next to me answered my question. That's right. Mika Chama is Furude clan Mika Chama's Furude clan is an agent and honor. Worshipped by Orishio Sama for generations. Huh. 
I was going to feel that she wasn't quite your average person, but it turned out that she was from a esteemed family. After her father, who was a shy priest, died a year before the last, she's really been doing the best to ignore the rituals. I wish the priest could have been there to see how wonderfully she's grown up. What? Richard's father passed away? Okay! Break time's over! Let's get to the chairs! We're not using... <laughs> we're not using back in the... <laughs> Let's get the chairs when I... Oh, jeez. That was actually good. See, um... I think I know why we choose to ignore that, because, um... Yeah, Sarika's parents are dead due to Orishima's curse, which we learned in the last chapter. So, the people in... Himiza do not like talking about Orishio's curse, and fears of that they're going to be victims of the curse next if they talk about it. Which I found pretty interesting. Maki Sam, pull the truck around here and take a few people with you. Alright, my barbecue, let's get to work and one last job. Uh, you're going to make me do more work? If, I can't tell if they know if I'm mine or not, but the older men all cheer me on and encourage me to do my best and have the bureau would be great. <laughs> Please, don't be this underage drinking part. <laughs> oh, jeez. K-chan, working hard, I see. I passed by me on. She was carrying a big cardboard box. It looked that she was right in the middle of working as well. Judging by the sweat shrimping from her shirt, it seemed like I was the only one with the hands full. Yeah, I'm working my ass off. You work hard, too. The beer is going to be great! <laughs> we worked it. We worked to the bone until the sun began to set and started cooling off. The beer is going to be great! <laughs> I wish there was an underage drinking bar. I don't know why, but I just wish there is one. As soon as it was a full flash night, and this, in the clear sound of the Higurashi erased the moderate pain I felt. The older guys were getting their night before drinking party until the, in the attempt a bit far off, causing quite a ruckus. The Shrigons, on the other hand, turned into a lonely road tickled by the cool evening breeze, despite being so festive in just a little while ago. The wind felt good. I leaned on one of the stone guardian doors at the front of the shrine. I gave my legs a good, a good shot as I let my mind wander. And suddenly, a paper cup filled with barred tea was thrust before me. K-chan, great work! Here's some tea for you! You're so considerate! Thanks, me- Her voice sounded like exactly the same, but it felt somehow different. Wait, you're- Is she on? Hiya! Is she on? Don't go give me-, me Don't go give me on all the credit! She's in Caserta as well, so don't get us confused, okay? Sh she on you little! Now that I caught you, you're not getting away! <laughs> it was your mistake, K-Champ. I never said I was anyone other than Shion. <laughs> I guess I can't argue with that. <laughs> That's right, you're no match for my older sister, so I can't let you be a match for me either. Anyway, your tea. It's gonna be warm. <laughs> Come on, please, cheer up. I'm trying to make it up for you with this tea. Well, she did come all this way here to give it to me. I guess I'll accept it. I took the cup down and bumped gold. And then suddenly, like, ah! I heard a shot and, got, and it got stuck in the throat. <coughs> <coughs> Which one is it this time? Is it the real Mion? Shayon? Why are you hanging out with K-Chan again? Because, unlike you, I'm very considerate. Keychan was so sweaty that I couldn't leave him alone, so I brought him some tea. By the way, why are you holding two cups of tea? Beyond's face went bright red and tried to hide the paper cups behind her back. Uh, er, well, this is... There's no way for such a rough, timid, good sister mind would briskly make bring a male class of tea, is there? So what are they? What are those two cups of tea? Jeez, my nose. These are, well, um, uh, right. I just got so thirsty that I figured I'd drink too. 
<laughs> That's so like you. Come on, Chuck, Chuck! It's she and cheered around, beyond down both of the cups of tea. One after the other. <coughs> what a family drink that was! I expected nothing less from you! Gisha, do you give her a hand too? Wait, some of the situations have gotten unbelievable. Bion usually doesn't get manipulated so easily like that. I don't for a while now, but Shion is terrified. Bion, you can't hold your own a grudge. You can't hold your own against Bion. Shion, I hate her, and Lady, I hate her even more. Just then, I heard. Yes, Domataki! Yes! <laughs> God, I overreacted to Domataki. But yes, Domataki! Good evening. The festival is coming up tomorrow. Thanks for all your hard work setting it up today. Good evening. Oh, Shion chan. It's quite unusual for you to come here. Oh, hey, it's Tomotaki and Takano san. Good evening. It's been a while, hasn't it? So, you're the transfer student I've been hearing about, in case you call Baro kun right? Really did have a bang up job today, I'm pressed. I feel like I've seen this photographer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't have seen this photographer guy before. And no, you don't. Um, have we met before? I'm glad that you remembered. You passed by many times on the road, Keiji kun I'm Tomotake. I'm a freelancer photographer from Tokyo. Then do you recognize me? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't. Jeez, Mio Takano-san. Do you remember when you were, the doc when you were at the doctor's office and when you saw the cool K-chan? Mio-san is one of the nurses who works there. Call me Takano. I'm pleased to meet you. I wonder if she squeezed over them like, like the shrine sword. Ah, uh, that's very thoughtful for you, of you. Tomotake is in the quite no chance. So it is like we should be in the same place, and he took a picture one after another. I heard about them, but this is the first time I've actually seen the pair of identical twins. You really do look a little. <coughs> so I have a little cold, so. You really do look exactly alike. We're not just alike on the outside. See, our underwear matches too. Yeah, you idiot! What the heck are you doing? Things have never been as lively as just when the two of them is apart together. I thought they were exactly the same at first, but I started to get a handle on which one is which. Mion is Mion. And Xion? Well, she seems a far better actor than Mion was. In the first place, someone could spurn Mion so easily who hadn't shown such weak weakness to those hard buckets at Angel Morts. But if that was the case, then the cowardly behavior from the, that day was, uh, was all a complete act. They were even more alike when they were little. I hear that even their parents had a hard time telling which was which. That's really easy to imagine. I totally understand what they must have gone through. That little gave me a kind of an odd look, but explaining would have been, might have been a pain, so I didn't bother. Tomotake, are you gonna go straight back to Tokyo to get your pictures of your festival? Of the festival, not your. Yep. Even though I'd rather stay here forever. It's only adult things, that's all. <laughs> I hope your photos win that fabulous prize soon. I got, I've been praying for it. Thanks. Next time I'll come, I'll bring the pictures I took of all of you today. My barbecue. Be tired from all the physical labor you're not used to. Uh, well, I'm tired, but it was still pretty fun. Ah, uh, youth. I'm so jealous. Took no sense. Smile with a bit of adult elegance that one by circle of friends it possessed. When cutting her hair, she gives off. She gives. <laughs> she gives off an intelligent beauty. I want to say something. But it will be a spoiler, so I'm not gonna say it. Oh my, hello everyone. It's been like our merry crowd was standing out this time. 
and overweight older man addressed us. And again, it was someone I thought I knew. You met him before! When you were beating up... When you... <laughs> when you were beating up thugs. No, when you were beating... Been beating up by thugs, he came to help you. If I recall correctly, he's a policeman, isn't he? Oh, Oishi-san. Good evening. Doing the primarily expe security expression for tomorrow? <laughs> Something like that. Oh, Vanessa Tomatake-san. It's only been a while. I'm honored that you remember my name. You really do love Hina Yuzawa, don't you? These apartments around here are far cheaper than the ones in Tokyo. You should just move here and get over with. I know as a realtor, I can introduce you to. I know a realtor, yeah. I appreciate the thought. I'd very much like to follow up on that. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Have a good year. And Happy New Year to the Sonazaki twins, too. Happy New Year, Detective Oishi. We appreciate your work. We like to end this year's festival with the least amount of inconvenience as possible. That's pretty strict on me. <laughs> Detective Oishi left us with a low laugh and headed off to some police officers standing in a, way a ways away. I gave me on a glance and saw her making an annoyed face, as if she was glaring bullets at someone she hated. Yeah, it would be nice if the police didn't have anything to do with the Watanagashi this year. <laughs> you like this priest too, don't you? Please. <laughs> I said please. God damn it! <laughs> I'm not good at reading today. <laughs> oh, you mean you dislike it, Gio san? I quite enjoy your fantastic. Such fantastic stories, don't you? You know? Especially with the times being so dry and uninteresting. The curse of Orishima Summon, you mean? Curse? Tomotake san used a troubling word. Then suddenly, someone tugged me on the arm. Kei chan, I'm pretty hungry. Wanna go to the tent with the drinks and have some candy and sweets? Um, I'm up for that. I got a little hungry as well. Okay, let's go! A moment later, Shion says something to Tomotake... Takano and Tomotake that stumped my ears and gave me a start. I wonder who will die and who will disappear this year. A pullback from Mion's grip and stopped it properly. Shion. What did you just say? I felt like the air around us dried, all, dried out and all, all of a sudden. Let's go, Kei-chan. They were talking about something silly anyway. You still haven't told Kei-chan? I make it a point not to spread the stories like that. Shion's, Shion's cold and quiet tone and Mion's harsh voice were quite the contrast. Hey, wait, hold on. What are you talking about? If you know something, then tell me. It doesn't feel like... It doesn't feel right being the only one left out, you know. I don't understand this. Someone explain it to me. However, Beyond didn't seem to be all willing to grant my request. She squeezed my... She, she squeezed my hands in hers a bit, but when she realized I hold my ground on this topic, she let it go. I'm gonna do the drink attends first, then. If you don't come soon, KJ, and there won't be any love for you. Nah, I get it already. I'll be there soon. Beyond left, trotted towards a particularly noisy tent on the other side of the shrine grounds. Before she got there, she stopped and turned back around. I showed no signs of going after her, though, so she ran off. I could tell you if I haven't heard, I suppose. But it might be smarter not to ask, and go with her and eat dessert. Hey now, you got my full attention here. I'm not going to leave without asking, without asking at this point. I think Kei-chan has the right to hear this, too. My sister was just stealing that from you. Shion's voice was bristling with thorns, and if someone was blaming Beyond. What on earth are you talking about? I don't really like people acting so self-important. Takano said, realized how prepared I was, looked across the group, after confirming that there was no Jepsons. <laughs> I sounded so mumbly in that, she opened her mouth. Do you believe in curses, my Baroku? Curses? I think the 
are interested, but I don't really. I felt there's cynical stares and winced. It was like they were telling me that it was stringent not to believe in curses. You're not wrong, Gay Chan. Curses are just a superstition. It's only natural that you wouldn't believe in them. Besides, it can take all the time you, you need to decide whether to believe in curses if you hurt us through. Oh, said so Tiger the Third coming in a little smile. So I said, You're trying to scare me. At least that's what it feels like. Alright, I'll start. Keiichi Kun, do you know about the Himizawa Dam project? Oh, yeah, the other day at Angelmon, Shion, or Mion, Rabbit told me about all about it. You think the plan is a giant dam that will flood all Himizawa, right? That's right. Residents of the town banded together to fight it in a fierce battle with the government unfolded. Heard that too. The entire village united using. <coughs> the entire village united using all of the disposal mass media, halt to show fluids, and other things, and fought at the country. Fought at the country. The way that Mion described made it sound like a boast. Oh, know quite a bit about it. Yes, you're right. It's practically an epic tale. Just how about a thousand or so villagers banded together and rejected the government's plans? Did you hear this from my sister? She likes those kind of epics, you know. Uh, yeah. She told me. There was, however, an office with the Himizawa's residents opposed to infraction. It was the shrine. You know the assembly hall. That's where it used to be. Now the whole thing is over and the senior citizens just give it give it to use for club activities. At the time though, it was their last bastion. Takano said explain this. Pointing your finger towards the assembly hall. I'd been carrying things in and out all there of there all day. I mean, I would understand if they put offices like that in the mayor's house or something. But having the officers on the shrine grounds made it feel like you kinda of base care for the Shinigo period warriors. That was basically the mindset, though. Place the main force of the shrine dedicated to Oshiro Sama. He means I was guardian dead at me, like a prayer of victory. Oshiro Sama. That was definitely it. They mentioned Oshiro Sama's curse before. Is it the same as Oshiro Sama? <laughs> so, a curse called Oshiro Sama's curse is not the same as Oshiro Sama. Do you know about Oshiro Sama? It's the name of the god that worship that is worshipped at the shrine. It said that he protects all of Himizawa. Well, I don't really know much about him. I see. I think Takuto some knows more about the rest. Tag, you're it. <coughs> well, that is generally the whole story. Orishio Sama is the ancient god passed down in Himizawa, and the villagers say he's been protecting the sanctuary from the poisons of the outside world. So essentially, he's a basic standard guardian deity. I guess you find that sort of god anywhere you go. There's research into whether the worshiping Orishio Sama is a manifestation of a kind of of a kind of atheism too. What I mean that the worshippers might think of themselves as the chosen people. Believing yourself is chosen, and nationals will believe that you are a part of the superior race, or that you are a special clone chosen by the gods. They believe that you are a super superior clone, so they believe you are strong and cooperating with others, but they also end up being exclusively towards other clans. I won't go too much into detail, but it's sort of national and religious ideas that lead to war. Of course, that goes for Japan, too. A long time ago, the people in Himizawa strongly believed me believe that themselves are different from humans, that they were above them. They believe that they that interaction with the lower world can solely their souls. So everyone believed that even the lower world can come to the village. So they sullied and what suffered the wrath of Orishio Sama, apparently not kept everyone away. Villages that hit outsiders come all the time with notching off of us. This was one in the run in the middle of the village of Exophobes. 
Well, they did not to preserve their pride, but it was a, a long time ago after all. Things are different now. She unfolded up quickly. <coughs> she unfolded up quickly, having the sense of the prince in Tomotaki-san's words. Tomotaki-san, first of what he said, scratched his head. Hmm. So this shrine worships in Ushiro-sama, thinks Hibizawa as a holy ground, and is a symbol of the traditional hatred toward of the outside world. I get it. So that's why they chose the shrine of Himizawa's guardian sphere at their base of operations. They resist the solely damn good construction problems that came from the outside. Correct. Smile talking of please. She must like this <laughs> she must just like stupid people. Superstition. Every last bit of it. The villagers gave everything. Definitely opposed to damn construction. I'm right in the midst of it. This is a draw of home with the finishing blow. Oshiro Sama's curse. Ooh. The person managing the construction site at the Himizawa Dam was murdered. Four years ago, I believe. It took the newspapers by the storm. Do you remember it? Uh no, not really. He had a fight with a subordinate and was beaten to death by a pickaxe. His limbs and head were torn off and the remains disposed of. One of those mismembered homicides. They were all the rage at one point. Such a gruesome incident. But it was just that. An incident. The person caused this incident after all. She didn't really put it down to the curse. Then the following year, when he organized he made out his group of damn proponents, he fell from a cliff while on vacation and died. It was an accident. Of course, most of Himizawa was hostile towards him. The police were all over the case as if it were a homicide. By the end, it was judging me. Uh, I need a drink. <laughs> I can't read, like, I can't read Tomotake. I can only read Takano. And I don't want to say anything in Takano's voice, so I need to get a drink to refresh real quick. So I'm going to get that real quick. Or I can end the episode right here. No, I'm not going to end the episode until the end of the chapter, so one second. Okay, I got a drink, so I think I'm going to be fixed. <sighs> oh, hi, Christy. How you going? Oh, you like the green screen, don't ya? My cat came downstairs <laughs> right as I got a drink. Um, yeah. Okay, one second. Do you want to see my cat? Uh, no, I'm going to go on. Now it's accident. This is the most curse like one, but it's still far fetched. And then, the next year. You know what? I'm going to end the episode right here. I can't read. It's just that. Well, while you're reading, your voice gets a little, you know messed up and dry, so that's why. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you all next time. I'll see you all next time. McCain.